Good morning. Today on Spotlight, our year-long Democracy 2018 interviews with the candidates for Michigan governor continue. So far, we've had in-depth conversations with Brian Kelly and Gretchen Whitmer. Today, we shine our spotlight on Republican Bill Schuette. He's from Midland, Michigan, and currently serves as Michigan's 53rd Attorney General. So why does he want to move from the state's top law enforcement job to the Great Lakes State's Chief Executive Officer? Stay tuned. It's Sunday, April the 1st. I'm Chuck Stokes, and this is Spotlight. Mr. A.G., thank you for joining us. Well, it's great to be with you, Chuck, here at the Cube and just uh, across from the Shake Shack so we can uh, get, a, get a milkshake before we're, after we're done here. And they'll appreciate that advertisement. Yeah, a little, a little free advertisement uh, for the Shake Shack. Uh, you've been in a key position for the last eight years, numerous positions before that, uh, but now you want to seek the top political job in this state. Uh, when you, people go to your website, what they'll see loud and clear up there is it's time to win again Michigan I'm a little confused by that what do you mean it's time to win again Michigan the Republican Party controls every branch of government in this state a lot of people say you've been winning what else is there to win it's all about the future and I have big aspirations for our state I want to see more cranes in the sky which means more jobs on the street and bigger paychecks for Michigan families and you know there's no doubt that uh, Michigan has rebounded we were on the mat we were on life support after the disastrous governorship of uh, Jennifer Granholm and we've rebounded but you know we're still 300,000 jobs short of where Michigan was uh, and during the lost decade and so we need to win again and compete and the real issue is growth we need to grow our state with people so that we win again uh, against the competition of the Carolinas and the Texas's and the Florida's that are growing faster than we are when you announced that you were going to run for governor uh, one of the political pundits said uh, no big news Bill Schuette has been running for governor since he was five years old <laughs> <laughs> um, it got I appreciated it, it, the compliment. Really it got a few chuckles but does that image that you've been in government for a long period of time and a lot of people think that's the ultimate job you want uh, does that help or hurt your image on the campaign trail? Well, you know, I think the, the key lesson of the past campaign of 2016 was authenticity and being genuine. And I'm an experienced guy. And for us to go from good, we are, again, we rebounded. We are uh, on life support. Now we're doing well. But for us to do great, we need to have the most experienced guy so we can win again and compete for jobs and paychecks. I want the jobs and paychecks and people to be in Michigan, not other states. Look at our the number of members of Congress we have right now. We have uh, 14. Once upon a time, we had 19. After the next census, we'll lose one more congressional seat, and we'll have 13. What does the math mean there? Other states are beating us. Other states are growing faster than we are. And I have big aspirations. I think I have, uh, we can't have uh, timid or small steps. We need to make sure Michigan uh, gets the jobs and the paychecks and that we win against the other state. That's what it's all about. Uh, you do not have the support of Governor Rick Snyder, the top elected Republican right now in this state. He has thrown his endorsement to his lieutenant governor, Brian Kelly. He says Kelly is the man to take Michigan to the next level after the various fixes he's made in his administration over the last eight years. Um, your reaction? Well, you know, it was, it was, it's as I expected. If you were governor, you'd support your lieutenant governor as well. But I think most people understand for us to win in 2018, uh, number one, you need to have an independent record, a fresh approach, an independent record of accomplishment. And I've done that with my efforts on uh, having a victim-centered human trafficking uh, laws in the state of Michigan, uh, sexual assault kit prosecution so that we put uh, serial rapists behind bars, a school safety initiative, uh, called OK to Say, a track record of independent accomplishment, and I think people understand the next governor uh, decision. We can't go backwards. We can't go back to the failed uh, lieutenants of uh, Jennifer Granholm. We need to uh, uh, reach higher. I want to drill down on some of the specifics that you would like to do if elected governor of the state of Michigan. Terrific. We'll be right back with Michigan Attorney General and candidate for governor, Bill Schuette. Stay with us.
When you drive from Detroit to Lansing, there's a big billboard, and it's been up for a few years now. And the billboard says, Bill Schuette, a Michigan conservative you can trust. How do you interpret that? That probably makes you feel pretty good. Is, is that to suggest that uh, uh, the current governor has not been conservative enough for this state? You know, again, uh, it, for me, it's all about the future uh, and how we uh, position Michigan to win again for, so that we're a state that has more people and more jobs and, and bigger paychecks. Uh, and that that is a kind guy, a friend of mine who has that billboard up on I-96, and I'm so glad he spells my name right. And and I hope I, I would <laughs> yeah, hope that would be would, bad if yeah, you did. I, I would yeah. hope they would organically uh, uh, multiply across the state of Michigan. All right, um, how will you create jobs in this state? Okay, number one, uh, we need to first and foremost roll back the uh, income tax increase passed by Jennifer Granholm. It was supposed to be a temporary uh, income tax increase. It has never been repealed. It's cost Michigan taxpayers eight billion, eight billion dollars since it was enacted. And my number one goal in the first days of my administration, if I have the privilege to serve as governor, which I think I will, we will roll back the Jennifer uh, Granholm income tax increase, drive a stake through it and put more money back in people's pockets. We need to make sure that we, we like Washington, cut taxes, and I want to cut taxes here in the state of Michigan. Have we cut enough business taxes? Because there are certainly people in this state who feel as though over the last eight years, uh, the administration has done a lot for business, but not as enough for the average citizen. Listen, we need to cut uh, taxes across the state of Michigan. We, Michigan, we can't afford not to. If you look at other states across the country, they have lower taxes, they have uh, uh, fewer rules and regulations, and they have a more vibrant, dynamic economy. That's what I want to do, and I want to uh, compete in win against those states. And we need to give Michigan families uh, a pay increase by having real auto insurance uh, uh, reform. We need to cut auto insurance rates. Then how will we keep up with the infrastructure? People are already dodging potholes everywhere. They're frustrated with what's happening with our roads. We look at our bridges. We got a D-plus rating from uh, the Society of Engineers. Um, it's not just Michigan. They gave a bad rating across this nation, but certainly Michigan and is no exception. How can we take care of those very basic things? They may not be the sexy things in life, but the things that we have to deal with in our everyday lives if we make all these cuts. Well, let's let's talk about uh, infrastructure and roads and bridges here in a moment. But the key thing is, Michigan, we must cut taxes. We must be more efficient if we're going to compete and win against the other states. I reject the uh, kind of grudging acquiescence that our best days are behind us or that uh, we're going to be a smaller, shrinking state state with fewer people. Nonsense. I want Michigan to be a place, Chuck, where you people plant their flags and, and raise their families and build their futures. And that means we need to sharpen every tool in our economic toolbox to make sure that people get to keep more of what they earn and the government takes less of what you make. A thriving economy and growth will provide uh, resources for people across the state who are in need. And that's the type of Michigan I want to see. It's big aspirations, bold hopes. It's not uh, timid or small or, uh, you know, this grudging acceptance that our best days are behind us. No way. Our best days are right ahead of us if we make the right decision. Michigan has been criticized for, uh, for not doing well in education right now. How do we lift Michigan up to one of those top ten states? You know, I go to schools often, and the fact that uh, our third graders, wherever you live across the state of Michigan, you know, uh, rural, urban, uh, the four corners of, of our two great peninsulas, that only 35 percent, or about a third of our uh, third graders, are proficient in reading. That means that two-thirds of our students uh, aren't proficient in reading. When I'm governor, Michigan children will read. I want to have a, a literacy a director, a cabinet-level officer, right smack dab in my office to focus on reading. We need to have reading summer camps for, for children to make sure that we give them an opportunity. You know, America's supposed to be a place um, of opportunity, a uh, shining city on a hill. But if you can't read the directions to get there, uh, the, the future's pretty gloomy and, and, and dismal. We've got to give every child an opportunity to participate in America. And the fact that we're at the bottom at the very bottom, ch uh, Chuck, in terms of third grade reading, is uh, a tragedy. It means that we have failed children. That has to end, and as governor, I'm going to be